run had such success this season. Nick Phipps, the former decathlete, and Alan Cairns, current county sprint champion. And that's the speed they want as they get away on this icy course at Eagles. Into the first turn, looking for that right line. And creating a lot of interest in two-man bobbing and four-man bobbing as they progress throughout Europe. Clattering away now. This is when it shakes the nerves. Just hit a wall there. Came off it safely. High on that wall. Coming up to the finish. And safely through in 55-353. A flurry of snow at the end as they put the brakes on. Nick Phipps and Alan Cairns, who've been training so well. Of course, in this European Championships, they're up against the best bobbers in the world. And everyone's here. Here's the Swiss number three bob, Eric Schara. Andre Kayser, Eric Schara, the 1982 world champion and the 1980 Olympic champion. He, too, a former athlete. And the Swiss trying to recover from the death of one of their drivers in the Swiss Championships a couple of weeks ago at St. Moritz. The first death in bobbing for five years. And they're going well. Schara and Kaiser. Their split time, 34.76, and that's much faster than the British pair. Shara, one of the most experienced drivers here. And there's 54.45 for them. That's nearly a second faster than the British number one. Here's the Austrian number one, and they'd love to win on their own home track, but they're up against it with DDR turning out three crack squads. This is Ingo Alpelt and Christian Mark. Oh, and they're being roared on. Tuck in and tuck down. Second man gets his head down, cuts down the wind resistance. And the bob, of course, as aerodynamic as it's possible to be. Just 2.7 metres long and 67 centimetres wide. And they've gone well. Fastest split time, this Austrian number one. And if they can keep this up... Bit of a clatter there as they came in to break. And it's not quite as fast, 54-616, not quite as fast as the Swiss number three bob with Shara and Kaiser. There's Ingo Appel who's improving all the time, but he wanted to win on his own course. Now DDR2, Bernard Lehmann, Bogdan Musil, a lot of experience here. Two of the crack East German squad that used to be in their four-man team that got the bronze in the 81 Europeans, silver in the 82 World Championships, and silver in the 83 Europeans. And the East Germans as ever, keeping their bob under wraps as long as possible. And they're in cracking form. And the British boys, uh, Nick Phipps and Alan Cairns, have said, watch out for these. They are looking superb. Coming up to the split time now. Oh, and that's faster by far. 34.69. DDR2. And they've got a better squad to come yet. High on that refrigerated wall. Clattering around. There it is, 54.249, and that is the fastest time. Tremendous run by the German number two pair, Lehmann and Musio. And if we thought that was an experienced pairing, what about this? 
Wolfgang Hoppe, Dietmar Schauhammer. Hoppe, a former decathlete, Schauhammer, a current decathlete, an 8,000 point man who points out that he can beat Daley Thompson over 400 meters. And that's the sort of push he's giving now. Six foot two, tremendous sprinter. The Olympic and world champions. And the split time to beat is 34.69. Oh, it's better. 34.54. East Germany 1 and 2. And the first run of four going very much to form in these European Championships. 54.115, the fastest time to East Germany 1. What a cracking ride by Hoppy and Schauerhammer. So the first round brings one and two to DDR, then the Swiss number two Bob in third place, and Great Britain's time gives them 13th time for that first run. Well, coming up to the fourth run, and at the end of three, DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, and that is very much to form. Great Britain down there in 12th place, but uh, doing respectably well. The Austrian number two squad, Hilber and Muig. Of course, it's a great joy to turn around to the Austrians here in Austria and remind them it was Great Britain that invented this event, as they did the Cresta run. And Muig just tucks himself in behind Paul Huber. At the most difficult wall, fastest part of the course, 75 miles an hour. 35.66, the split time. And remember, it's the aggregate of four runs added together that brings the championship. That's the bone-shaking, clattering ride that you get. Half a dozen of these in practice, and Nick Phipps says it's like doing a decathlon. There's the final time, 56.186. Times added together, 3.41.70 for the Austrian number two pairing. That's Paul Hilber. Now the West German number one pairing of Anton Fischer and Christoph Langham. There's a little bit of needle going on between the West Germans and the Austrians. Innsbruck being just over the uh, German border, they'd love to uh, take on the Austrians. No one denies it's between East Germany and Switzerland. But West Germany would like to get amongst the Austrians, and they're going well. Eagles, this uh, refrigerated course, recognised as a safe course. 35-371, that's faster than Austria too. And that will please the West Germans if they can keep this up. Fischer and Langham. And if they just get past one of the Austrian pairs, they'll be delighted. Good line this, right in the middle of the course. And look at this, 55.757, it's faster than Austria too, and they're the first to recognize it, the coach is out on the track. They take the lead now, of course all the big pairings to come, but 3.41.04 gives them the advantage. DDR3, Detlef Richter, Stefan Grunt, and would you believe Stefan Grunt, another first class athlete, a lot of athletes turning to this event, and you can see why they need that athleticism, look at him. Sprinting as long as possible, spikes in his boots, and he really gets uh, the bob away with as much impetus as possible. Spit time coming up, and that's a surprise. It's slower than the West German bob, but of course they've got uh, some time in hand from the other three runs, but on this ride, they're slower than the West Germans. Richter and Grumpt.
final bend. 55, 8 to 1, slower than West Germany. But overall, they'll do better and they'll take the lead overall with 340.47. bit of relief there from uh, Stefan Grunt. That's the decathlete just climbing out. Here's the Soviet squad, the defending champions who haven't done so well in practice. The driver is Marius Poikens from Latvia, who was fourth in Sarajevo. He's got a new number two. There he is, pushing there. Ivers Berzaps. And I think they're probably both Latvians. Took that wall fairly low, but very safely. Nice and high on that banking. And look at that, 35.43, the same time as the uh, East German number three bomb. But in practice, they don't appear to have got their act together terribly well, and they're clattering around a bit now. Boykins and Burzox. 55.875, they've lost it on the latter part of the course, and their total time of 3.42 means they're way out of the medals. GB1 again, Nick Phipps and Alan Cairns, our best pairing since Nash and Dixon. And they're getting the sort of recognition they deserve, and they're hoping uh, sometime to get a better bob, which in uh, wind tunnel tests is about 1.7 faster than this bob that they've got. So Nicky Phipps, the driver, the last British decathlete to beat Daly Thompson, Alan Cairns, the Essex sprinter. Really holding our heads high in Europe. They've got a lot to make up, though, against the crack squads that are out in these championships. That's 35-5-3, that's a tenth of a second slower than the Soviet pair. And they can't be expected to make up uh, the gap, but if they finish in the first dozen or so, they'll still be doing well. Because we haven't seen the East Germans all season, we haven't seen the best of the Swiss or the Austrians, and they're all in this European Championship. 56, 034, and in fact, they were slower on the latter part of the course. Their total time at the top there, 342.82. They'll have to wait to see where they finish with that. But good to see them up there. Austria won now. Ingo Appelt, Christian Mark. And this is a good pairing the Austrians have got together. And listen to the sort of support. And they need and they've had the refrigeration on. There's plenty of snow and it's very cold here in Eagles. And they're going well. Split time, 35.26. That's the fastest split time today. Austria won. It's just that one tight corner they... Uh, they grab at and then uh, get back on their runners again. And of course, it's driven by cables to their front runners. And it's the choice of line that's so critical. See them clatter through there. But the time is good, 55, 626. That's the fastest time. And overall, their fastest two, 340.52. Austria won. Our Switzerland number three will be down next. The great Eric Schara driving here. Knocking on a bit is Eric, but uh, the 1982 world champion and the 1980 Olympic champion. He's number two man, Andre Kaiser. Eric Schara, former decathlete and a shot putter. Tremendous all round athlete. Now, on this run, the fastest split time, 35.26. And they're outside that. But remember, it's overall time that matters. The aggregate of the four runs. Just picking his line. Hurtling through the final shoot, 55.79. And that overall time at the top is going to put them third fastest. That's 340.62 behind Austria 1. 
and the Soviet Union. DDR2, Lehmann and Musiel. And my word, how do they do it every time? The East Germans getting a stranglehold on this two-man bob and on the four-man too. They've made a great scientific study of this. And it's moved on a little bit since uh, Wilson Smith invented it in 1888. That'll lead, 35-2-1. East Germany take the lead again. But they really are remarkably consistent. No problems, maneuvering well. Picking the middle of the core, 55-4-6-7, that's the lead. And overall, they'll take the lead to 340-07. DDR2 with DDR1 still to come. The great Wolfgang Hoppe and Dietmar Schauerhammer. Olympic champions, world champions. And carrying the mantle of DDR1. This East German crack pairing. And we were absolutely certain that both of them would be uh, two first class decathletes in the East German squad because uh, they really have done well in that event before transferring their winter to the ice. 35, 262, it's faster, or is it? No. It's second fastest. It's just outside, but of course they've got some in hand from their aggregate score. And they may be just taking it steady and just doing enough to win overall. 55, 670, it's only the third fastest on this run, but the all important timing at the top there, 339.55 and DDR1, go number one. They're the European champions, Wolfgang Hoppe and Dietmar Schauerhammer, and they know it. They just did enough on that fourth run to make absolutely certain of the title. Look at that, DDR1, 2 and 3, then Austria, Switzerland and West Germany enjoying the spoils of 4th, 5th and 6th, and Great Britain's number one pairing, 13th place. I suppose you could say the East Germans are quite good at that, couldn't you? We've got the slalom coming up, a little more winter sport for you, World Cup slalom, the men. Uh, a